Hey everybody, hello! How are you doing? How was your day? I am surrounded by bags. I thought I would do another Halloween haul. My day was, you know, a day I got through it. I did, worked on my spreadsheets, so I was happy because I could just zone out and work on spreadsheets, so that always makes me happy. But anyway, I thought I would do another Halloween haul because I don't know if you guys know, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel, and it's kind of a mess right now for a change. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. And thank you in advance for hitting one of the thumbs. Like, if you don't like this video, just thumb it down. Or thumb it up. And also, if you could please check and make sure you're still subscribed. Because my subscriber numbers have been acting weird all day. Weird all day. Okay, so some of you guys might know that I have been looking everywhere at Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and today I went to Michael's for the fun of it. But um, I've been looking for this fortune telling skeleton with a turban on its head and a fortune telling wheel in its hands. And I give up, like I officially give up. And I was also looking for a Medusa head and I gave up on that too and just ordered it from Poshmark the other day. I just failed miserably. But our stores are so lame, they're not going to have it. But in the meantime, running around every day to all these stores that are supposed to have it. And then buying this and that and everything else while I'm there. And now I have another pile of Halloween stuff. So I thought I would haul Halloween haul part two and I am officially done. I mean, I might go to that one Home Goods tomorrow. Just for... <laughs> I'm hooked on Home Goods Halloween. If you haven't been to your local Home Goods and seen the Halloween stuff, maybe you can't understand. But it's pretty affordable, and it's just a trap. It's a trap. Don't go. But anyway, so let's haul some stuff. I'll show you stuff I did find. Everything but the two things I was looking for. Okay, I'm going to start with this bag right here from Marshalls. I really should start with this bag right... I think this bag should be the grand finale, though. I don't know. I've, let's start with this bag. Okay. Okay. And the sad thing is I went to Home Goods today and they were already marking all the Halloween stuff on clearance and putting out their Christmas stuff. And I said to the lady, oh no, are you guys done with Halloween stuff? And she said, well, kind of, we get some stuff in every day, but now we're setting up for Christmas. And I said, I'm looking for this skeleton. And she said, oh, we got that right when we started putting out Halloween stuff. She said, we got that in July and a lady snatched it up almost as soon as we put it down on the floor. Those damn Halloween hunters. I don't snatch things, so there's that. Okay, let's see, what is this? It feels like a mug. Now, if you're new to my channel, you might not know that I'm not really allowed to buy any more mugs. So I have to strategically find ways to incorporate. Oh gosh, it is a mug. Okay, you know what's going to be in? First there was whatever. Then there were bows all over everything. The next thing is going to be cherries. Mark my word. You're going to start seeing cherries all over everything. Case in point. I got this mug, but I really like it a lot. It is skellies on cherry stems. And it's that soft matte texture, but the inside is actually glossy, but the outside is a soft matte, and it's by Cobwebs and Cauldrons. And it even has a little to from tag on it in case you want to give it to somebody you love, like your mom. <laughs> your mom. Happy Halloween. Anyway, this was... Um, $4.99, and yeah, 
I don't know. But mom, we've always had this mug. I, I told you my mug plan. I'm going to pack up all my mugs and just take out four at a time and take out four and then use them for a while and then pack those up and take out four more. I think that's a compromise. It's a good compromise. All right, the next thing in here that I got is, and actually I should save this bag and write, cause I gotta put this stuff in the closet. I, I can't have this stuff lying around for the next two months. Okay, the next thing I got, and th these were from, what bag are we on? Marshalls, 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 Marshalls. I was excited to find, oh, and I'm wearing my um, pajamas. This is what I sleep in, this giant Frankenstein t-shirt. And can you even see it? This giant Frankenstein, you can't even see it. Forget it. Giant Frankenstein t-shirt and pajama bottoms. Heck yeah, I got home and immediately just took everything off and put pajamas on. Okay, this is really cute. It's by Goblins and Ghouls. Oh my god. Now, is it chipped? Oh no. It's chipped a little bit. You know what? That's all right. I don't care. It is a ghost with a pink witch. See, it's like this is not making me happy, but I can just touch that up a little bit with some paint that probably won't match. It's a ghost holding a sparkly bat. He's happy. He's blushing. He's got a sparkly little band around his little pink witch hat. And this is really bothering me in an OCD kind of way. This is not, this is just his tag. He's by Goblins and Ghouls. And he was $12.99. Here, I should probably smile for some kind of a thumbnail. Oh no, she's doing it again. Well, I have to have a thumbnail. Now, I hope you didn't get chipped in my car. Here, I need this. Put this right here for a minute. All right, this is crazy, all of this stuff. I've never had this much stuff. Cover up all this stuff with the ghost. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, my hands are shaking because I've been taking caffeine pills. Because I get sleepy doing spreadsheets. Okay, so we got those. All right, we're going to wrap these back up. A lot of good that did, but still, wrap it back up. It was probably already chipped, which is why it was the only one there, and I was able to find it, because I think this is a viral thing that people are looking for. Maybe not. I don't know. You have to kind of look on Poshmark and see what's in demand. Okay, wrap this back up. I don't know how they wrap these things up. This is why I can't, I did work in retail for a while and I was horrible at, at Christmas time, we had free gift wrapping. Oh my gosh, and I was horrible at it. They took me off the gift wrapping station immediately. They were like, nope, never mind, not you, which is good. If there's something that you don't want to do, and your job does not depend on it. Just suck royally at it. And then they'll, people will ask you not to do it anymore. Okay, so that's my life advice. Okay, loud crinkly noises. Here, let me get my cherry. This is all, isn't this cute? Stick the tag right there so I have to peel it off and use that goo gone stuff or whatever you call that stuff goo be gone I don't know but you know this is going to be a pain in the neck to get off and then it's going to leave behind little sticky stuff and it's going to bother me but I really like that mug a lot and I don't like cherry you're not going to see me buying stuff with cherries all over them you're not, mark my words. 
unless they're like really extraordinary cherries, they have to be really extraordinary. Okay, so Marshalls, okay, we did that. Okay, put this down on the ground. Carefully. All right, now, maybe I can move the big grand finale somewhere else. No, okay, let me just get this other Marshalls bag. Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. Okay, at Marshalls, you guys, for one thing, I got this. This has nothing to do with Halloween. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. I look at this tumbler, isn't it? Oh, oh my gosh, it's fit for a queen. They gave me a discount on it because it lost the straw, but I have enough straws, I don't care. And it was, so it was eight bucks. They red tagged it for $8. And I'm just excited. I'm taking it to work. I'm going to drink out of it during meetings. I'm going to be like, get away from me. I'm royalty. This is awesome. So, eight bucks. That's a pretty good deal. And then I got this Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty um, ceramic reed diffuser. But it's the Ki Hello Kitty, the ghost of Hello Kitty. So, it's in a ghost shape with her little bow right there. And here are the little stems. And it was $12.99. And it is cinnamon, cinnamon scent. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon scent. Okay, that's hard to say. Sticks and reeds. Is that what that says? No, it says five reed sticks and cinnamon oil. All right. So, rock on. I could use that sooner rather than later. Okay, so I got that. And I ran in and I said, do you guys have Medusa? And they said, no, not anymore. And I said, gosh darn it. Well, yeah, I did say gosh darn it. I don't curse in public or to strangers for that matter. All right, let's get, um, that's big. I have two really big things. This is, oh yeah. Okay, this is big and, oh, okay. All right, let me figure out what's going on. Okay, let's go with Michael's for a minute. Michael's has two sections of Halloween stuff. They have their haunted forest section where all the stuff is like white. And then they have their haunted manor section where all the stuff is like a black, a dark tone. And I really loved the haunted forest. It was really beautiful stuff, but they were having a 30% off sale and the shelves were already almost completely bare. And there was one thing I was looking for at Michael's that was this angel dark with dark from the haunted forest collection this cherub with kind of dark eyes but um no it was already gone but i did get two things and this might have melted in my car today while it was sitting in. i got this creepy baby head candle yeah <laughs> and it is by um ashland halloween and it is haunted harvest scent which is oh no i'm sorry it's haunted hayride and it smells like um i don't know i have no idea here put this here she's that's awesome isn't it nose is a little chipped oh well nose is a lot chipped I can't win. It's fine. It's supposed to be chipped. I mean, look at all the fake chips they put in it. Boy, so a real one just makes it all the more authentic. See my positive attitude like that? Okay, here, lean this way so people can't see like this mess and I'll crop this pillow out. Oh, be careful. Okay, here, I don't want that sign to fall down. We got the alien in the cowboy hat today. Am I recording? Okay.
For a minute, I thought I wasn't recording. Yeah. All right, so yay. And I, we are finally at a stage where I can light candles again, as long as they're right here on my bedside table next to me and I don't leave them alone. I remember when Loki and Luna were a little bit younger and they would just climb up all over everything and get into everything. They don't do that anymore. But because usually I light candles on my dresser across from me, but I, and I still don't think I would feel comfortable doing that. Okay, so we got that. How much was that? It was on sale. So it was, whatever it was, it was 30% off. So it was 30% off $20. So it was $14. I think. 30% of 20 is 6, right? No. I don't... Uh-oh, what was that? Oh, no! The light went out. That was scary, wasn't it? Because this is like a Halloween video, and that was kind of haunted. I don't know why that just happened. Where's the little... <sighs> Be careful. Okay, that was weird. Weird. It didn't come unplugged. Okay, I'm getting flustered. I'm getting flustered because there are so many bags. Okay, the next thing, if I take this bag, these bags are going to fall. Okay, what's in here? This is TJ Maxx. Wait a minute. We were doing Michael's. Hold on a minute. Okay, so the next thing from Michael's Haunted Forest. And they did not wrap these up or anything. Is this Haunted Bride? Ooh. And she was 30% off of $25. So that's five, seven fifty. I don't know how. I don't know seventeen fifty or something. I have no idea. Okay, so this little thing needs to be trimmed off. This little. Look at how picky I am. She was one of the only ones left, probably because she's got that string sticking up. That's annoying. So. My eyes are fried from staring at a computer screen all day. All right, there she is in all her glory, and you can't really lift this stuff up. It's glued down, so it's not like you can lift up her veil, and this is glued down or sewed down, too. But she's really beautiful and awesome. With her hair under there. No, that's not her hair. I don't know. But I liked her. She wasn't what I was looking for, but... And I found that angel online and it could not be shipped. And I said, oh, well, whatever. Oh, well, whatever. I have so many angels. I wanted a haunted one. All right. Speaking of not that, let me get some water and hydrate. You do the same thing. Drinking water is good for you. Okay, so when all these bags have been out in my car, <laughs> stealth shopping, and I came home from work and my mom's asleep down there, and I said, yay, I can get all this stuff out of my car, and I did, and then I snuck, a, and so it was like 12 bags of stuff, and I managed to sneak it all upstairs. It was a feat of strength, and it was impressive. Okay, the next thing in here, what is this? This wig is bothering I'm wearing the wig of shame today because I wanted to sleep in. So, did not take a shower. Just got out of bed, threw on the wig, threw on some clothes. 
I went to work. I don't even have any makeup on. I'm sorry. My eyebrows look depressing. Okay, the next thing in here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, shh. Oh, for a minute, I thought he was chipped right there. And I said, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with this video. This is the... Okay, so if you saw my last Halloween haul, I got the Bride of Frankenstein bust. And this is the Frankenstein bust that goes with her. And except he's wearing like a black leather jacket. But he... And then we're done with Frankenstein. We're all Frankenstein out. I might get a Frankenstein Nutcracker at Home Goods if it's there tomorrow, but that's it. And I don't think I'm going to pose with Frankenstein again. We have too many Frankenstein thumbnails, and but here he is in all his glory. So I think what I'm going to do is use Frankenstein and then the Bride of Frankenstein that's in my last Halloween haul video as bookends during the Halloween season and maybe forever. I don't know. But he's fantastic. And he was 20 bucks. Oh wait, there's a light. Oh, cool. Okay. His eyes light up. That's nice. All right. Frankenstein. Okay, they kind of half-heartedly wra wrapped him up. I love that Frankenstein. It's the year of Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. Okay. So, we got that. And not this was not all in one day. This has been over the course of the last... Whenever my last Halloween haul was... It's been over that period of time. So don't think that I got this all today. That would be crazy. Even I cannot shop like that. Okay, the next two things I got were from um, TJ Maxx also. Wait a minute. I don't know. Okay. And so the first thing here, which is really cute is a stack of pumpkin pillows, pink ones with a hat. So, yay. I know I'm gonna pose with everything, huh? Stop posing for pictures or we're gonna stop watching. It's hard to get the whole thing in the frame, but they're soft and smushy like the Timu one should have been, and they're perfectly round and yeah, the nice throw pillows. And these are by Goblins and Ghouls. And they were 15 This was $15. So we got that. And then I got this Hello Kitty Sidestepper. And I'm sorry. And she's in the mummy costume. And I'm not going to lie. I thought she would be in demand. But I looked on... Because there was only one of her there. And... I looked on Poshmark and there are like 8 million of these that people are trying to sell. But here's a little tail and the back of her mummy. And then you turn her on. She was, what does that say? $16.99. And you turn her on and I think she makes a lot of noise. And I think she does some obnoxious things. Okay, wait. Where's the little, how do you make it work? Push this. So, uh, if you put her on the floor, she... okay, that's enough. Stop it. Okay, the one thing I like about buying stuff like this at TJ Maxx is it already has the batteries in it. And neat. So she's funnier on the floor because she scoots back and forth and dances. This is the year of Hello Kitty. I'm in my Hello Kitty era at age 53. Okay. 
So there we go. We get got rid of that. Put that down here. Oh, Lord, help me. I do not want to put all this stuff away. Okay, get this out of here. This is last. Last. Move this thing. Get this thing down here. Oh my gosh. It's sad that this is last because it's in the way and it looks sloppy and I don't really want it in my frame. Here, sorry. All right, the next thing from TJ, no, from Home Goods. First of all, I got. which has nothing to do with Halloween at all. An over the door closet hanger. So, or wherever, whatever door you want to hang it over. And then it's got these hooks and I thought I could put my baseball caps on it because those plastic ones from Timu that you just stick on, uh -uh, they're just not working. They're not holding up. One of them crashed down in the middle of the night last night and scared me to death. And so I bought this and it hooks over your door and these are cute. And I'm gonna hang my hats on this. So, and it was $7.99 and I can't put, put this here cause I can't put this away. And then I got this witch and I thought she was precious. And she was on a 30% off everything shelf already. That depresses me. She's got a little mischievous, mischievous smile. And she's got her little hair. This is a little frizzy over here, but that's all right. So's mine. And her hat has feathers in it. And she's big deal and she's holding a crystal ball and she's by um Bella Lux Bella Lux and when you turn it on it changes colors too Ooh, that's cool she's cute and she is weighted right here so she can sit on a shelf. What is all this stuff? Get it out of the way. She's weighted right here so she can sit on it. Oh, what? And there's more down here? Good Lord. I've never seen so many tags on one thing. That is ridiculous. Take them off. No. Not all of them. Sometimes I leave the tags on. Okay, so anyway, did I already turn her crystal ball off? Okay, so she was um, 15 bucks minus 30%. So minus 450, I think. I don't know, but there she is. She's pretty, like I like her iridescent dress that kind of changes color in the light from green to purple and down here from blue to green to purple and she got a lot of detail and her hat is really beautiful and she's cute so i was happy with that and did i buy another mug oh no oh no i can't help it you guys know Home Goods. They got that big wall of mugs. I try to walk past it and not look, but I feel really fortunate that I did look this time because I found, let me put her back. Look what I found. Oh, they taped it. That was nice of that lady. That was the lady who was talking to me about the skeletons and how the people are lined up every morning when the store opens to look for more Halloween stuff and just crazy Halloween hunters. I blame TikTok. I thought I heard my name for a minute. I found the, the Frankenstein mug, Hello Kitty. 
Hello Kitty. So, and it was $6.99. And I also got one off Timu, believe it or not, but it looked kind of janky. I mean, it looks janky compared to this. This one has like dents in it and I mean on purpose, it's textured and it's got little ghosts. They don't look very happy, do they? And there goes Hello Kitty walking like a zombie and everybody's a little freaked out around her. This cons very concerned bat. And yeah, so that's cool. And that might never go downstairs. It might just get packed up with my Frankenstein Hello Kitty collection. Because it is the year of Frankenstein. Okay, so we got those. And then, okay, this is going to be last. Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. Be very careful. Hold on a minute. And TJ Maxx? Oh, dear. Oh, no. All right, here's TJ Maxx. So, speaking of Frankenstein, what? That's the only thing in this bag? For $7.99, this block of wood, you can hang it. Hello Kitty Frankenstein. I don't know, man. They could have done a little bit more with it, but it was the only one there, and I was excited to find it. So, there it is. It's kind of hard to pose for a picture with all this junk in the frame. <laughs> okay. All right. So, that's exciting. What am I going to do with that? I don't know. Put it with the rest of the Hello Kitty Frankenstein stuff. I might take the mug to work. I am the only one who doesn't have a mug at work. Well, now I've got that Evil Queen mug. And then, this is from Marshall's. Hopefully I can write all this stuff off as tax write-offs because it's on my income generating YouTube channel. Okay, what is this? This I bought this a long time ago, so I don't remember anymore. Oh no, it's another mug. Oh no, it's welcome to the Hello Kitty channel. I don't know, whatever. Just, it's Hello Kitty in a skeleton suit. And she was $12.99. Get out of here with that. All right, this was, was early on in the shopping game when I didn't really know what I was looking for. Because now I... I don't think I would have bought that now. Okay. It's cute. Don't get me wrong. Then we've got whatever this is. What are we on? 33 minutes? Oh, it's a mummy cat. It's a little cat dressed up like a mummy. I wish it were black. Then it would look like the little Loki. Well, if it had yellow eyes. But, yeah, it's just a little mummy cat that was $6.99 by, well, it just says Marshalls. It doesn't have, like, a make. Oh, made in China. Okay. But, yeah, it's really cute. I like it a lot. And, yeah. Tchotchke. And then we have a canister. They wrap everything up in this moving, this moving wrapping paper stuff. It's another Frankenstein. One of them's happy up here. 
and it is a can it's just a canister and i don't know what you put in it because what rice beans coffee dreams hopes wishes i don't know i don't know what i could put in it but if i put it down in the kitchen i'll get slapped 14.99 but it's really, it's cute. And I haven't seen these around much anywhere. This is the only one. So I'm excited about it. Put it here. All right. So we got that. How much have I spent on Halloween this year? I don't want to. I'm not doing that math. And then I'm done. Next year, I'm not buying any Halloween decorations. Okay, put it all back in here. How did they get all this stuff in here? Okay. Get this out of my life. Yeah, it's dangerous going into those stores. Okay, and then I got a blanket because I don't have enough blankets. And this blanket, don't get mad at me. Oh, and more? Okay. Well, I got this blanket, which has got the sun... The moon, Ouija board, Ouija board print, a crystal, an eye. It's a little, it's really soft. It's really cool. It's huge. It is by Rachel Zoe, and it was $16.99. And now I'm done buying blankets. No more blankets for me, man. I've got every kind of blanket under the sun. I don't need any more. But here it is. And yeah, it's big and it's exciting. And it is oversized plush throw. So cool. I just want to get under it right now and take a nap. And then I got this Martha Stewart ghost. that is all wrapped up. It's really wrapped up. I can't. Martha Stewart ghost. It kind of looks like there's nothing to it, but there it, oh, it needs batteries. It's got a screw, gosh darn it. It's another one of those screw-on things. Okay, hold on a minute. I think I can push something. Right? Can I push a test? Oh, cool. Okay. So, it's pretty when it's all lit up. Oh my gosh, it's like a really pretty lamp-ish thing. Thanks, Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. I like its eyes. I like that its eyes aren't holes, but they're indented like this. And it's got this textured, it's made out of this textured, I don't know, resin. I don't know what it's made out of. Textured, it was $14.99. It's a ghost. Okay, I'm gonna put the ghost in here and then I'm gonna put the blanket somewhere else. Okay, and then finally, we're almost done. We're on the last bag. I got a big three wick candle that was pumpkin spice snickerdoodle and it smells really, <gasps> everything's going wrong. It's haunted. Um, It smelled really good. It smells really good. I don't know where it is though. Oh, here's a little tag. Oh, it's a little tag that shows what the blanket looks like when it's un so unfolded. That's really cool of them. Okay, 
So the blanket looks like this. All right. Put the blanket. I might just hang that up in the closet. Okay, finally, I found another Catherine's collection. It was on the thing she was wheeling out to put it on the shelf. And I grabbed it and I said, could I have this, please? Thank you. So I'm a big fan of Catherine's collection. It's really expensive. So it's too expensive for me to buy out in the world. Like at Neiman Marcus or whatever, it's like $400. But at um, Home Goods, this Catherine's collection pumpkin, and you can always tell Catherine's collection by the detail work that she puts in their faces. Yeah, man. This thing was expensive. It was $130. It's going to be my precious, my precious, along with my Catherine's Collection Mermaid. Oh my gosh, so it's got a squishy stem up here and it's got arms holding its head but it's got little fro soft like fronds all around it and it's got bloodshot eyes and teeth look at those teeth wow i can't get over that here smile for the thumbnail i love it it takes up the whole picture cheese hold it up lean back put it this forward okay get it perfectly positioned it's heavy it's really my hands are shaking it's so heavy it's so heavy I'm not strong enough okay all right so there it is here's the back the only thing about the back I notice is that there's like a white line here but that's probably why it was at home goods it's got a felt bottom and where am i gonna put this i'm gonna take it to work and point it right at the girl i work with <laughs> put it on my desk happy halloween so this is uh, my collection is now complete medusa is coming and i'll be happy about that and then i'm done Except I might go to the other home goods tomorrow just to see what they have. But I can't afford to buy any more Halloween stuff. I can't, I gotta stop shopping. Okay, so this, I don't know where, I wanna put this somewhere really special and wrap it all up again. This is tricky. Look at it. You can stick your finger in its mouth. It's got a glossy tongue in there. It's got those eyes. Wow, this is fantastic. I can't get over it. It's a work of art. If you Google Catherine's collection, you'll see a lot of her stuff, and it's really awesome. Okay. I think that she put this around here like this, and then... She wrapped up the bottom, but this was the only one. I've seen other home goods on YouTube that have a whole bunch of these pumpkins, like different shapes and sizes and styles and faces. I am so jealous of the home goods out in like California and stuff that seem to be way cooler than ours which is already packing things up and putting their Christmas stuff out. I don't think I can get this back in the bag. I might have to just put this. See, if I put this somewhere, Luna is going to chew on it and try to get that. If I take the pumpkin out and just put it, set it on my dresser or something, Luna will get up there and chew the soft parts of it the fronds or whatever I know that for a fact alright we are at 44 minutes 444 
44.44 and we are done. That was a lot. That is the rest of my Halloween haul for the Halloween season and it is August. It is August. Is it the 13th? It's August 13th and I have enough Halloween decorations now to decorate the whole neighborhood if I want to. And yeah, I'm going to put all this away now. That's going to be fun. I think I'm going to lie down first, maybe take a nap, get up and deal with this later. But thank you for watching my Halloween haul. Match my Halloween freak. Anyway, it's my favorite holiday. And yeah, we got to celebrate. We got to do it up big. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I love and appreciate you guys so much. And thank you for supporting this channel, whether it's with a thumb or a kind comment down below or just your view means a lot to me. So thank you so much. And okay, I hope you have a nice night, morning, afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this. And now how do I stop this thing?